Today we're going to show you how to assemble and install the Rolla Convoy, a truly innovative, modular hitch mount bike carrier. Whatever your adventure, Rolla Convoy's modular design allows you to add a unit at a time to create a one, two, three, or four bike carrier. Assembly is quick and easy, and all of the required hardware and tools for installation are included. If you'd like to view a complete step-by-step -step instruction sheet for this installation, visit rollaproducts.com. As with any installation, be sure to check all the parts against the parts list included in the Rolla Convoy instruction sheet. This will also help to familiarize yourself with all of the components you'll be assembling. Before beginning the installation, you will need to select either a 2-inch or a 1 and a quarter inch single bike center support base unit. The size of the base unit needed is determined by the size of the hitch receiver tube opening on your vehicle, as well as the number of bikes you wish to carry. Each of these base units will hold a single bike. To carry multiple bikes, additional add-on units can be assembled to your chosen base unit. Two-inch base units can carry up to three add-on units, while the one and a quarter inch base unit can carry a single add-on unit. Based on the size of our vehicle's hitch receiver tube opening, for this video demonstration, we'll be installing a 2-inch single bike center support base unit. The same installation steps can be followed for the 1 and a quarter inch base unit. When assembling the convoy bike carrier, you can use either your receiver hitch or a table. For this video demonstration, we will be assembling the carrier in the vehicle's receiver hitch. To begin, slide your selected single bike center support into the vehicle receiver. Next. Place the anti-rattle hitch pin bolt with lock washer and flat washer through both holes of the vehicle's receiver tube and convoy base unit. Using the supplied 19mm wrench or 8mm Allen wrench, secure the base unit by tightening the anti-rattle hitch pin's hardware against the side of the vehicle's receiver tube. Once in place, install either the hitch pin clip or the hitch pin bolt lock to the end of the hitch pin bolt. Next, loosen the eight screws to the center support tabs, taking care not to completely remove them. Connect the front wheel tube to the single bike center support by aligning the slots on the tube with the center support tabs. Once aligned, slide the front wheel tube into the center support until it's seated against the unit's internal stop. Next, slide the rear wheel cradle with strap onto the rear cradle tube making sure the buckle side is facing rearward or away from the vehicle. Then, slide the rear cradle tube into the single bike center support, similar to the front wheel tube, until it's seated against the internal stop. With both front and rear wheel cradle tubes in place, use the supplied 4mm Allen wrench to tighten all the center support tab screws on the single bike center support. The next step is to put the convoy's arm assembly together. Begin by sliding the arm assembly grip onto the rotating arm assembly. Make sure that the grip lever is on the same side as the detents on the arm. Because of the unique modular design of the Rolla Convoy, the arm assembly can be mounted in different places along either the front wheel tube or rear wheel tube, depending on whether you are securing your bike by the front wheel or the bike's frame. To secure your bike by its wheel, Fasten the arm assembly to the front wheel tube using the supplied button head screw, lock washer, and flat washer. Tighten the hardware with the supplied 8mm Allen wrench until it's snug. If you choose to support your bike by the frame, fasten the arm assembly to the rear wheel tube using the same hardware. When mounting the arm assembly, the grip should be positioned rearward or pointing away from the vehicle on the carrier. However, if you're securing the bike by the frame, Installing the grip facing toward the vehicle may make loading the bike easier. After the carrier has been assembled, you are now ready to load a bike. Be sure to follow the proper loading procedure as indicated in the instruction sheet. You may also view a how-to video on the process with the following link. This completes the installation of the single bike center support base unit. If your next adventure requires you to carry multiple bikes, an additional add-on unit will need to be installed. Please be aware that each additional add-on unit will need to be assembled with its front 
and rear wheel tubes in the opposite direction of the unit it is being attached to. This will minimize interference between your bikes when loaded. To begin the installation of an add-on unit, remove the four black plugs on the base unit. These plugs can be snapped into the extra holes not being used to attach the assembly arm on the base unit. Next, place the add-on center support on top of the single bike base unit and engage its tab with the base unit slot. Use the two provided button head screws, lock washers, and add-on support plate to secure the add-on unit to the base unit. Tighten all hardware using the provided 8mm Allen wrench. The remaining steps of the installation are the same as those used for the assembly of the base unit. Loosen the screws to the center support tabs on the inside of the add-on unit. Align the slots of the front wheel tube with the add-on unit support tab. Slide the front wheel tube into the add-on unit until it is seated against the internal stop. Slide the rear cradle onto the rear cradle tube and insert this assembly into the unoccupied side of the add-on unit. Tighten all the screws of the support tab with the provided 8mm Allen wrench. Slide the grip onto the arm assembly. Choose a location on the front wheel or rear cradle tube to place the arm assembly, depending on how you decide to secure your bike. And finish by securing the arm assembly to the add-on unit with the supplied button head screw, lock washer, and flat washer. If you need to carry more bikes, remember that up to three additional add-on units can be added to the two-inch base unit, and a single add-on unit can be added to the one and a quarter inch base unit. The Rolla Convoy has been specifically designed to step up or increase in height as each additional add-on unit is installed, providing the proper ground clearance needed when traveling on uneven or sloped terrain. Its pivoting feature makes storing the unit or gaining access to the vehicle's trunk easy. That wraps up the installation of the Rolla Convoy Modular Bike Carrier. If you'd like more information on the Convoy or other great products from Rolla, visit rollaproducts.com. Rolla, just add adventure.